This is a TCT special presentation. Well, have a happy Thanksgiving, and I want you to know I am so thankful. Thanksgiving Day to me is so special, not only because of family and friends, but what God said to me. But right now, I just want to share a scripture. Psalms 95, 2. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. And that's what I want to proclaim today. Let us come before him with thanksgiving. Let us, let's thank God for what he's done. And also over in the 100th Psalm, verse four says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. And that's what I think we need to do today and every day actually. And when you do that, it changes the atmosphere. It makes your day go better. You know, if you're having a hard time and you're thankful, you start feeling better, right? Well, if you have a good attitude, yeah. then you know, that's gonna affect your mood and just give you a good day. And it's kind of hard if you're thinking about things that you can be thankful for and all the positive things happening in your life. It's kind of hard to do that and not have a good attitude about what's going on. Since God spoke to me on Thanksgiving Day in 1976, I have seen miracle after miracle after miracle. We attended in downtown Cincinnati, Ohio, a convention called the OKI Convention of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship. And God said, if you will do what I ask you to do, you'll be able to look back years from now and see what I have been accomplished, what the Lord had been able to accomplish through your faith. I know you've been praying for some Christian programming on television station in Cincinnati for your children, but you can have a total Christian television station. So if you're there today and you're saying, can I trust him? You can trust him. You can be thankful for each and every aspect of your life because he really, really cares. Today I'm thankful that I could sit here and say that, believe it, trust in it. Who knows where we would be had we not obeyed God. I think that God prepares all of us for what he's got for us in the future. And I feel like that was happening all along. Even as you were moving up in the corporate world and moving from place to place, you were learning things oh, yeah. that would apply to running TCT. Yeah, and of course- God has a purpose for each of us. The unfortunate thing is too many people go through life not knowing what their purpose is, not caring what their purpose is. But God has created us for each of us for a purpose. So you have a happy Thanksgiving today and uh, remember what the Lord says in Psalms, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Trust him today, be thankful to him. Let us keep sending the message out together. Let's together reach souls, touch souls, and change lives and say to the cities, including your city, behold your God. I'm thankful for you today and I appreciate you. And I want to just say, you have a good day in the Lord.